Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Norway for EU4. I wish we had enough money to afford these guys. But no, 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 we're just gonna have to hold off for a bit. I think we're, we're basically just waiting. Hey, we have an heir, that's nice. A 214, what's our current guy? 322? Two, two? So yeah, the personal union, they have no chance of inheriting us. But, um... The requirements for continued union. Denmark has positive prestige, and Norway's opinion of Denmark is positive. So my opinion of Denmark. Relative power to leash. If we get strong enough, then our opinion will go down. I'm curious, can we just rival... Can we just rival our leash? <laughs> That'd be great. Denmark. Probably not. I doubt, I doubt that you can. Yeah, Denmark's not allowed. You cannot set your overlord as a rival. Well, that's not very nice, game. We are pretty well capped out on manpower, so we should be trying to build up to our force limit. We have room for three more. Right now we've got five infantry, one cavalry. Um, probably be a good idea to have another cavalry. Go up, go up to our force limit. And then, ideally, if there's any way we can make ben Denmark lose prestige, then that would be great. Um, also, my advisor's back, so we should probably... You know, do you really compare or compete in our node? Doesn't look like it. Denmark's in second. <laughs> our embargo, not the most effective embargo in the world. It'd be nice if we could actually just go to war with the Hansa and maybe blow up their ships. That's a, the simplest way, really. Do we even have any Casa Spelli? We just have Independence CB. That's, that's really it. I think we'll go all the way down to low maintenance. And how did training those men affect our opinion? Eh, not that big of a deal. Um, a few slightly shading looking characters have appeared at our court offering their services to our king. They claim to be willing and able to do things that any proper ruler would never deign to do publicly. So spy offense would help us out with fabricating claims. And we do have some land over here. Maybe we could, maybe we could attack Scotland as a, an expansion route and maybe that gain us enough power to maybe overthrow Denmark. You know, like... I imagine the only people we could probably fabricate claims on here... As a vassal, you can only declare war on your liege to break free and nobody else. Ah, well, never mind then. In that case... I guess spy offense doesn't really help us at all. Let's just take the prestige. They are allied with Poland. They rule over Holstein and Sweden, which will aid them. Independence defend the capital. Sweden declared war upon their new enemy, Denmark. They cite independence as their casus belli. My king, Sweden entered a military alliance with our enemy, Scotland. And Sweden entered a military alliance with our enemy, the Livonian Order. Interesting. So, Sweden decided to jump the gun. They, um, they did have more power, I think, than... Yeah, they have 16,000 troops. Denmark has 10,000. So maybe... Mm, let's think for a second. I kind of want them to just beat each other's armies up. Well, first things first, I definitely want to combine my navy so that it's safer. We're going to slow the game down a bit, just because this is probably the most pivotal part, I think, in the game. We're also hostile to Sweden because we are beneath them, of course. So Sweden apparently was able to... get these guys to ally them and then declare war. And they did it when they were at negative one stability. Interesting. 
I think I'm actually going to send my ships to port. Let, let's let Denmark fight his navy first. We got Poland and Lithuania on Denmark's side. Well, Lithuania is in a personal union with Poland, so that would explain why they're in. You, like me, ask to support independence. If a country accepts our request for support, they will come to our aid when we declare independence. Poland cannot reach Denmark. Hostile attitude. Neutral attitude. See, if we can get England to like us, then they would totally support our independence. Totally. Burgundy cannot reach Denmark, apparently. Holstein. Not valid target for support independence. Oh, Holstein's not independent? I didn't realize that. Ah, the Teutonic Order would support our independence. But the Livonian Order would not. Their opinion of us is negative, because apparently we're at war. So what? It's the, the Livonian Order... <coughs> Interesting. So should we get to the support of the Teutonic Order now? I think yes. Let's try it. See if that counts as a uh, relationship slot. The, the Teutonic Order has accepted our offer to enter in a treaty of support independence. Yes, it does count as a relationship. Um, their opinion of me probably... My opinion of them goes up. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Yep, so I'm at no maintenance, and Sweden's like, hey, I see you have an army there. Oh, God. And so they're going to come kill my army instead of fighting Denmark. You're supposed to fight Denmark. Oh, my God. Look at the leader. He's a 0 one zero zero. Amazing. First thing I should have done was bump up my maintenance. He'll arrive on the 16th. We're too slow. We're too slow to get away by a single day. Maybe we speed up if we get morale? No, he's sending all 11 of those men towards us. Oh god, how brutal. I think I'm going to have to disband my troops. <laughs> I can't afford to take the war exhaustion from just losing nine, nine regiments. Please, why wouldn't you fight Denmark? Like, go fight Denmark. You jerk. I'm so scared. Okay, well, here it comes. I took a crossing penalty. Their guy, of course, is a 2-1-1. It's not possible to retreat till May 27th, so if we go to zero morale, we lose the entire stack. If it happens before the 27th, which, which it will, I think. Nope, we did actually get to Shattered Retreat by one, just barely made it. So we lost some prestige, which is unfortunate. Um, gained a bunch of army tradition, though. Now, if you could please go and, like, siege somebody else, Sweden, you jerk. Looks like Sweden had the same idea that I did. This is considered Inland Sea, so the galleys are more effective. Um, Denmark does have some ships. But I don't know that they would be able to combine them with mine. I feel like we, we kind of have to, to do this, though, in order for Denmark to come. Otherwise, Sweden's just going to siege me. Which is not, not nice. Not nice at all. Let's put my navy here and see if... See if we try to venture into that province, if maybe they'll come and help us. We can catch them. The question is, do we want to take this battle? Three heavy ships versus a bunch of tiny ships. I think so. I think we could take them. Heavies are way better, even if we're fighting in galley, inland. So they got the inland defense bonus. They've got, of course, a commander who's a 1-0. We're up here on top. We're losing, of course. Come on, Denmark. Did Denmark reinforce? He did. Good. Now we have a 2-1-1. Excellent. So he did bring his ships out. 
Now we should hopefully be able to turn this around pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Not exactly what I was hoping to do. And the Livonian Order is heading up this way to siege my lands as well. Awesome, thank you, Livonian Order. Fortunately, we gained some prestige for this battle, so we kind of offset our, our penalty from before. And, um... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually just check, but I think most of those ships just died. Let's go get some more naval combat. That's a that's combat we can win. Some of my ships are a little bit beat up. In fact... Oh, shoot, I should have looked at that. I think we lost... Did you see? Did you see what I mean? We lost some ships. Like, combat these days is it's way, way harder. Let's improve relations with this guy since he's supporting our independence. You know, maybe we should just... Maybe we should just declare independence now. If we declare independence, then we're not considered a personal union under Sweden. Sweden leaves us alone. Sweden focuses on Denmark. Let's do it. Before we do that, let's see if England's willing to support our independence. I don't think they will... They're, they're not going to while they're at war with France in the Hundred Years' War, so that's more of a longer-term alliance, I think. Can I declare war? No, I cannot. So I can't do this. I can't do it while we're in the middle of it. Darn. I'm kind of stuck helping out. Well, at least Denmark's army is, is able to come out now. Um, this guy, I think... No, I'm going to leave my army up here. I hope that they just leave me alone. Please don't kill my army. <laughs> we need that army. It's important. I don't really want to help out with the blockade, so let's just protect trade in Lubick again. Like, I don't, I don't really want Denmark to win. I want Sweden to win. Kind of. You know? I, I, want, I want to win, too. I want out. We both want the same thing. If Denmark loses enough prestige, though, in this war, then we might end up out from underneath it automatically. Austria has just declared war on Alsace. Please stop sieging my lands. Please fight each other. Now that little star, if I'm not mistaken, indicates that there's one commander. No leader. No leader. No... No, nope, there is a leader there. Hans Norby. Does the star indicate then that maybe it's like a... Maybe that indicates that it's a, like actual country. A country leader or something. I don't know. We're up to full maintenance though, right? Why are we losing so much money? Reinforcements, naturally. Come on, light ships. Get to work. We only have four of them. <coughs> so clearly we lost three ships somewhere. Oh dear. Uh oh. I think he's coming for me. I'm a little nervous about this. Let's try to retreat to here, to the mountains. If anywhere can be safe, it'd be the mountains. The supply limit's solid. Denmark, you're supposed to not just siege Sweden, you're supposed to go fight his army. Please. Pretty, pretty please. Ah, there is that navy coming out again. The only reason I want to fight the navy is because I'm trying to do that mission to, to get my prestige above 50. I think we go up to speed 4, not much is going really going on. Come on, Sweden. War score is pretty close. They moved the ticking war score to the to the top of the list now, so that's kind of very nice. And it's also separated from everything else. You can see there the minus three point six zero attacker control Stockholm. Naturally, Denmark's not going to go siege Stockholm. They're going to just siege Vaster Gotland because, of course, that's the most important one. I want to be involved in little tiny battles, please. Me too. Me too. 
Oh damn, now we have to fight all six of them. Okay, we can probably win though. We got three heavies. We're the only one with heavy ships. We've lost the Siege of Jumpland. Well darn. Okay, hopefully we don't lose any ships. No, we did not lose any. But we... See how we just blow them all up? They all die. Normally, they would just run away. And, like, naval combat would just never seem to end. Now, they die quick. I'm actually going to... Detach damaged. Protect trade with the repaired ones already. And then send the damaged ones home separately. <laughs> it's like none of our holdings start upgraded. We could probably take this army, but I think um, rather than try to fight him, we'll just sit on our land and take it back now. It's hills... Not quite as defensive as the mountains we were just in. But, um... Oh, no. No. Yeah, Sweden, if you want to fight and just do whatever you want, it's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Denmark's not being very smart. They've got a 2-2-2 leader. 11 extra regiments here. They should totally go fight with their full force. We've lost the Siege of Orkney. Oh, hey, thanks, Scotland. Appreciate that. Yep, it's nice of you. Oh, this is a really nice change. So, our diplomats have in stopped improving relations with England due to reaching the maximum. Do you want to recall him or maintain him? So if you just want to always keep somebody at the max, then you can just maintain the diplomat there. That's a new change in the 1.5 patch. Um, or you can recall him, and it's just not automatic anymore, where you just don't ever notice that it happened. But yeah, we're going to recall him. Denmark is still neutral towards me. I hate the fact that they are deciding that I am the best target to siege. Relative strength of the alliance is way on our side, but, um... I don't know. Sweden's actually lost some war enthusiasm. Look at that war exhaustion, my goodness. How did they get so much war exhaustion? That's crazy. Probably because so much is being occupied. The Livonian Order is getting trashed by all kinds of people. Do you have multiple wars, or is it just the one? No, they're at war with all these people. Mazovia. Denmark's got friends in high places. Basically all of Moldavia, Mazovia, Poland, Lithuania, they're all just streaming in and sieging up the, the Livonian Order. Which isn't even really part of the war much. A young devout preacher has spoken out recently about how great our adherence to the teachings of the Holy, Roma, Holy Father in Rome is. This can only be good for our future. What are you talking about? I totally denounced the Pope. I am not... What do you think I am? So improving relations with you, that's good. Um, I do think that we're going to want to improve relations with the Livonian Order. Even though we're at war. Hostile relations... Well, their attitude towards us is actually neutral. I think that we can get them on our side when we when we go. God, we can't improve relations. We're at war. I knew that. I knew that. Mecklenburg, sure. Let's improve relations with Mecklenburg. Seems perfectly reasonable. We're totally going to lose control of our capital. Hungary now controls the, the church. Denmark's no longer the Curia controller. I just hope Sweden ends the war before they siege much more of my stuff. Because I'm, I'm the one that's really suffering the most out of this three-way triumvirate here. Hey, Sweden. Rebel, rebels. Some peasants just routed a Swedish army. Nice. That's really nice. Denmark finally took Vaster Gotland. <laughs> just advancing one space. They're not actually going to go to the war goal. Never mind the fact that Sweden has 10.4 from controlling Stockholm. Let's just sit on Nark. <laughs> it's just silly. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.